what you see right behind us is our first commercial building, about 1.7 million square feet, Coach, L'Oreal, SAP. What we have next to this building is about a million square foot, seven story retail building. Uh, we've been working on, on different tenants right now in leasing. You probably heard that we've been negotiating with Neiman Marcus for, yep. to anchor that with a 250,000 square foot space. Big anchor tenants, do you take them yourself through the site? When deals are being done at this size, the CEO of those organizations, their investors, their shareholders all, all want to come through and touch and feel what's going to happen. This store will be one of their largest urban stores, um, and they're not going to they're not going to make that decision lightly. So but when they come here, though, the, is it like you want to show them how big this place is? You have to have some vision, right? So it's not you can't come here and just look at the construction. You have to see our plans and hear the whole story. Right. Because what's going to happen here is really creating the new center of New York City. You want everybody who's hanging out. Uh, over by Central Park or people who are hanging out downtown, you want them to They're come here. They're already coming here. The High Line has become one of the biggest tourist attractions in New York City. There's a park here dividing 10th and 11th Avenue. That will go six blocks north called Hudson Boulevard. And that glass dome, okay. that's the entry to the new number seven subway line. Oh. That number seven subway line, it's three stops, six minutes to Grand Central Station. And so again, bringing kind of all the transportation infrastructure necessary for this to work. And that's why our commercial tenants and our retail tenants know that this is gonna, is gonna happen. Essentially what you want is you want someone to be able to live here, work here, shop here, eat here, and have their entertainment here. They could basically live here in six blocks. With 18 million square feet, this is bigger than most downtowns in the United States. So absolutely, this is a live, work, play environment with all the parks. 50% of our land area, 28 acres, is public open space. That is an incredibly open environment, unlike anywhere else in New York City. There'll be more green space per square foot than almost anywhere else in the city. Right where we're standing and then all the way to the north, this will be uh, our next commercial office building, roughly 2.6, 2.7 million square feet. This will be the third tallest building in New York City with the highest outdoor observation deck. But Jeff, I don't get it. I mean, we already have that kind of space, don't we? We don't. So in New York City, 65% of the buildings in New York City are over 50 years old. And if you think about how technology has changed and the way business has changed, the way people do business has changed over that period of time, our infrastructure and buildings haven't kept pace. The buildings that we're putting up today are unlike any others that exist in New York. New York City is growing, right? There are new neighborhoods. I think people are moving from a residential perspective, from uptown to downtown. That trend is as long kind of has started, has been going on for quite a few years now. If you look at residential rents, this is an interesting statistic for people that know New York. We get our highest rents in New York City in West Chelsea and in our new building right here. We get our lowest rents per square foot in New York City on the Upper East Side. So if you would have told a New Yorker 10 years ago that you're going to get the highest rents in New York here in West Chelsea, they would say you're crazy. Don't you live on the Upper East Side? I'm moving here. <laughs>